Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use stock takes online. This is the mobile application and in this example it's running on a Motorola MC3000 series handheld mobile computer. It's wirelessly connected to an access point as we can see here by tapping on the wireless icon and checking the wireless status and having a look here. So we've got a DHCP server. So let's just quit out of here. So we are wireless. I know that the supervisor has gone and created a stock take record via the web application. So if we now tap on stock take, it comes up and says a full stock take is now active. Let's click OK. And the form loads. And this is what the user will see for most of the day. So we just walk up to a bin location because the cursor is already flashing in the bin location box. So let's just scan the barcode. It's verified, it's been found, so now the operator is prompted to scan in the part number for the product. So in this bin we have this product, and it finds it. By the way, this is real time, so from the warehouse here, the scan data is going out to the online server and back. And so that response, which is sub-second, is what you should expect. So now the only thing the operator needs to do is key in the count. So this is the only thing they can get wrong. If they can't count and can't type properly, well, what can you do? So hopefully they count the books correctly. So let's count in. We've got 10, so type in 1, 0, and press Enter. And the record saved. That's it. It's as simple as that. The data is not held in the mobile computer. So if the battery went flat, got run over with a forklift, it doesn't matter. Your data's already online safe on the server. So to scan the next bin, we just go along and scan the next bin location, scan the next part, and we've got six of these books, so press six, enter. Now if you go to a bin location that has two, three, four products in it, and you don't want to scan the bin each time, just tap on the padlock and it will lock that bin location and make it constant until you unlock it. So let's just lock it. Let's scan the next part. We've got three of those. Press enter. So as you can see the bin has been kept constant. And let's do the next product. And we've got 66 of those. And now you can unlock the bin. And if you want to clear it, just press clear, and you scan the next bin. Now, just in case you do make a mistake, and 66 shouldn't be 66, it should be 64, tap on that line item with the stylus, go to File, and you've got the option to edit the record or delete the record. If you've made a complete mistake, we'll just delete it. But if you know the count's wrong, just click on Edit, and now press Backspace. And let's go 64 and press enter. And that count has been updated. If you come along to a bin location and there's no stock in that bin, simply type in zero and press enter. And it'll prompt, are you sure you want to mark the bin as empty? And if, well, it's obviously empty because you're looking at it, tap on yes. And that's been marked as empty. So click OK and continue on. Thanks for watching.